Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T, and welcome back, y'all. It's time for me to share what I got for my birthday. So, um, I'm a part of the ACOAB Birthday Clubbers 2022 group, and uh, what we do is basically um, on each person's birthday, you send a gift of an Amazon gift card. So you can do anywhere from $10 to whatever you want. So I was so blessed to receive lovely gifts from all of the beautiful birthday clubbers in that group. And I want to share with you guys what they helped me get for my birthday or what they bought me for my birthday. So I want to start with some of the supply things, okay? So the first thing that I picked up was this shoe liner, um, the shoe liner pencil case. It holds, I think, 180. And I'm using it. I went ahead and got this one and put my Black Widows in here. So all of my Black Widows are in this case now. So we have the, um, the Scorpions, the Spider, the Monarchs, and we have the, the Skin Tones, and now we have the Dragons. So they all fit in here really nicely. And um, I only have room for a few more, <laughs> so uh, I hope they don't come out with a big set because then I have to get another case because I want to keep these all together. But thank you, ladies, for this beautiful case. I love the um, alligator or crocodile faux look on this, and it's dark blue, like a denim blue, and I just love it. It has a handle here, um, so it's easy to carry. So thank you, ladies. All right, the next item they purchased for me <laughs> um, was this black um, pencil case. And this is a 48 case. Um, I wanted something small to fit my um, Winsor Newton aqua or watercolor pencils. So these are housing my um, watercolor markers. I mean, not markers, watercolor pencils from Winsor and Newton. So thank you again, ladies. I love this case. It's thin. It's very thin. So if you're, you know, if you are um, low on space, you see how thin that is. You can put this snug, slip it right in. Um, and I like that. All right. So the next item I received, um, this is not, this item is not from the birthday clubbers. This actually is from my bestie, um, Lavelia from Lavelia's Coloring. She got me the Castle Art 48 Premium Pastel Tint Pencils. Yay! I was so shocked. <laughs> but um, I took them out of here already. I'm not going to use that. I swatch on um, art, artist paper. So, um, But I did put them in with all of the other Castle Art um, pencils. So I threw them in here. And you're probably wondering, what are these tabs? This tab lets me know. That I have a set of pencils that I have not swatched. And these are the ones that I'll be swatching on camera. Anything that has a tab. <laughs> so I have a lot of swatching videos to do, guys. So, but anyhow, um, I put those in here. They're in the back. Such beautiful colors. And I want to say thank you so much, Lavelia. You are such a sweetheart. I love you to death. Thank you so much for surprising me with such a wonderful gift. Um, you know what? how much it means to me. Thank you so much. All right, and so that was the um, Castle Art 48 Pastel Tint Pencils. All right. Now, the next item, the next item that I purchased for myself for my birthday was this. Yes, the Tim Holtz Glass Media Matte. I don't know if I can fit this all in frame. Probably not. Um, it's a glass media, it's a glass mat and it looks like this here. I'm not going to take it out and it has another glass panel here that you can use for water soluble medium. Um, it also has like the mixing palette area and then it has a removal, a removable nonstick mat that goes on top of that little white section, um, that you can use, but it, they do not recommend you use any inks on this. Um, so it says that. The grid, the black grid, the grid area measures 12 by 14 inches and the mixing plate area measures seven and a half by 11. 
But this whole, um, I'm gonna turn it over. Sorry about that. This whole um, mat actually measures 14 by 23.75. 14.25 by 23.75. So this is a really nice big mat. So I'm so excited to get this um, to use for when I'm using watercolors or any water soluble medium to put down instead of working directly on my table or my mats, my soft mats here. So that is something I gifted myself. Okay, next I received this uh, Rise and Shine um, planner from my husband. I asked for this specifically. It is a um, health, it's a, it's a wellness planner. So basically you're going to like do things to focus, your food log, exercise, and just things for today. It could be inspiration, it could be quotes you can put there. And I wanted this um, because I am on a journey for wellness of the mind and body this year. And um, and I plan to use this also for scripture, um, writing down the scriptures that I read for the day and things like that. And just any, any of my thoughts. So that is my Rise and Shine wellness planner from my hubby. Thank you, honey. All right, next we're gonna go into coloring books. So these are the coloring books that the beautiful ladies <laughs> of the um, birthday club um, bought for me. So the first one is 50 Christmas Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. I know that many of you have seen this book already because it's people have colored in it. And so I won't do any complete flip throughs of anything unless you ask me down in the um, comment section. Um, but that is 50 Christmas Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. And I'm sorry about the glare, guys. Next, they got me Loveliness. Sorry about that. Can't even see that. Loveliness. <laughs> um, this is the Black Outlines coloring book. Um, so this is Collection 2 by Grazia Salvo. And again, I'm sure you have seen this. The paper in this book is like that of the Christine Caron books. Some beautiful pictures in here. Very nicely drawn, great art. Uh-oh, show you guys another one. Um, so that is the second book that they purchased for me. All right, next they got me R.J. Hampson's Fantasy Tiny Homes. I thought this book was so cute. You get double images, but you take on on one side they tell you the name of the of the of the image <laughs> you named it, and then you have the image on this side. So that's Airborne Tiny Home, so cute. Treehouse, Observatory, Island Home. I'm just showing you guys some. And Jungle House. So this is a really cute book and I love things like this so I will have a great time coloring in that. <clears throat> One moment. Next I have Oceans by RJ Hampson and this is all things ocean related. So again you still have the name of the the picture, the illustration, that's called Wrong Choice. So you can see there are um, sharks swimming all around the islands and he's stuck on the island away from his home where he's living. So he he's not able to get back. <laughs> Seahorse. Coral Reef. Submarine, I thought that robot was so cute, so cute. Dream Home, Island Dream, some really pretty pictures in here. Deadliest Catch, look how big that crab is compared to the boat. That is so cool. 
All right, so that is R.J. Hampson Oceans. And any of these, um, all of these books will be li listed um, in the um, description if you're interested. All right, the next book is Characters Through Worlds and Times, Grayscale Coloring Book by Christine Caron. Gorgeous book, you guys all already know. <laughs> you probably have already seen flip throughs of this. I'm not gonna do one, but her artwork is amazing, gorgeous. And I already have a buddy color in this book. I'll show you guys the page. They chose this one, the colorist. <laughs> so we'll, I'll be coloring this one with the lovely Richie in my Facebook group. But these images are just gorgeous and cannot wait to color in this book. One of my favorites right here. All right, and that is Characters Through Worlds and Times, Grayscale Coloring Book by Christine Caron. All right, next I received a Million Magical Creatures by Lulu Mayo. And I'm sure everyone has seen this. This book is absolutely adorable. And Lulu Mayo's books always make me smile. They're just so cute, whimsical, and fun little books. And you know, you can color, you can get a page done. You don't feel, it doesn't feel so daunting because the page is not huge. So you can just have fun in this book. All right, and that is A Million uh, Magical Creatures by Lulu Mayo. All right, next up I have Sanctuary, illustrations by Amber Day. And guys, I took a chance on this one because I really couldn't see what was in it, but I'm glad that I did. The paper is kind of thin. It's Amazon printed paper, but I love the um, architectural illustrations. You also get clothing and furniture, uh, but there are a lot of beautiful architectural interiors, out exteriors in this book. Love it. And I cannot wait to color in this book. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. And that is Sanctuary by Amber Day. Next, I picked up from the Birthday Clubbers, Mysterious Faces by Kevin Tail Art and Sabrook. This book is so cute, guys. It's got gorgeous images in it. This is another new favorite artist of mine. Um, those are bonus pages, but here, here you go here. And they have names for all, oh, so cute. They have names for all of the pictures. Gorgeous. Look at that. This is a gorgeous book. Got men in there, babies, ladies. <laughs> yes, very nice. So that is Mysterious Faces, Grayscale Coloring Book by Kevin Tail Art in Sabrook. And the last book from the Birthday Clubbers is this one. Um, the Best of Adult Coloring Books by Preston, Volume 1. I had a subscriber, I forget her name, and I do apologize if you're watching this. You can let me know in the comment section who suggested this book to me a while back. And I was like, oh, I'll put it on my wish list or in my uh, cart. And I decided to go ahead and grab one. And I decided to grab the volume one because I didn't want to get all of the books. I just wanted to try to see what the images are like. And let me tell you guys, this book is amazing. I love it. It's weird. It's quirky. It's fun, funky, unique. And I love that in coloring books. And I cannot wait to color these dark, heavy lined or heavy um, ink uh, images. I love that. Just putting like bright colors on that is going to make it stand out. And I love it. So I cannot wait to color in this book. So I want to thank the Birthday Clubbers for all of my lovely books. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. And I cannot wait to do the same for you. All right, so the last book I received is this book here, Rabbit Girl. And you all, I don't know where, I'm not where, but I don't know who sent this to me. This came to me in the mail. It had no insert. Um, I guess the individual wanted to stay anonymous. I'm not sure. Um, but I was so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, somebody sent me this. <laughs> somebody sent me this from my wish list. And I want to say thank you to this person. 
Um, if you're watching, you don't have to, I won't say your name if you don't want me to um, on any of the videos. Um, but if you are watching and you sent me this beautiful book, please, please, please shoot me an email so I can thank you properly because I really want to express my thanks because I was super shocked and I felt super loved and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for this book. It is the cutest book ever. Look at this. Pages go vertically um, from bottom to top. And I already have a buddy color in here um, with Lavelia. Um, and I cannot wait to get started. This book is so cute, you guys. It is so cute. I'm so thrilled and excited to have this book. So thank you so much to the secret sender. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I don't know you, but I love you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited for all of the birthday love I received. All of you all who sent me birthday wishes, birthday love, te um, texts and instant messages and comments on my posts that I made about my birthday. I want to say thank you. You made me have the best day ever with all of the love that I received. And I hope that when it's your birthday, you receive that same um, type of love back. All right, y'all. Until next time, take care.